It's the first week of March now, and if there was one piece of advice we could offer to fans of bubble teams still scrapping their way into the NCAA tournament, it's this. Beware the bid thieves. <laughs> Being on the bubble might be exciting, but it's hardly fun. Be honest, you're a nervous wreck. <laughs> every bucket, every win or loss, how all of it will be looked at and understood by the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee, it weighs on you. And you just can't worry about your team. Every other bubble team's results indirectly impact your own. It's a lot to keep track of, and it's a lot to fear. But as the first wave of conference tournaments get underway, the biggest threat to any bubble team is not another bubble team, it's the bid thieves. Those Loki-like tricksters who come out of nowhere at the end of the season, win the conference tournament, steal an automatic bid, make the bubble shrink. No one sees them coming. Take the West Coast Conference. St. Mary's is nowhere close to the NCAA tournament bubble right now, but the Gales are also pretty good. If, in their last ditch desperation, St. Mary's somehow knocks off bubbly BYU and heavy favorite Gonzaga on to the WCC tournament crown, that would give someone else's at large bid to Gonzaga and thereby shrink the bubble. In most seasons, bid thieves are most prominent in one bid mid major leagues. In 2015, the bid thieves look more likely to come from more high-profile leagues, like UConn, which gets to play the American Conference Tournament in Hartford, or out in the Mountain West, where Wyoming or maybe even UNLV could upset the established order. And then there's Kansas State, of course, the most interesting resume in the world. It could be anyone, anywhere. That's the thing about bid thieves. You never really know. What we do know is this. That bubble that your favorite team has spent the last six weeks living and dying on, it's going to shrink. The math is going to change. The bid thieves are coming. You've been warned. I'm Eamon Brennan, and this is The Bubble.